What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, I wanted to make a quick video um, because I was watching Corey's live of him speak about um, Carmen and... He was listening to Carmen Carmen's song. The link will be in the pinned comment. I put it on the Patreon because I'm not putting that music on my channel. I ain't got time for no copyright. So I'm listening to it <clears throat> and he isn't taking accountability for nothing, right? And we already know he don't take accountability for nothing. That ain't really nothing new, right? Yeah. But hey, the fact that he acts as if <clears throat> he didn't do a lot of this stuff really, really, really bothers me. Right now, personally, does it bother me like I, I'm losing sleep? No, don't flatter yourself. But what I'm saying is it just be like, damn, you could actually come to this live and like really lie like that. I see. But it's a couple things that he's saying Karma lied about that I want to express about how she didn't. Now, this is alleged. Was I there? No, I'm not. I don't live with them. I wasn't in a relationship with them. None of that. So let's just put that out there, right? However, context clues are very simple. Not too complex, especially when you got receipts. All right, so let's get into this first part. Everything out of them bags and put all that shit back up in the house and we said, we'll move on. No, let's go. Like, 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 like somebody put you out. And days after we back fine, right? Okay, cool, cool. I'm just, I'm just showing you for a reason. I'm gonna show you something. I look, go down. When you scroll down, we're gonna keep, we're gonna skip. Now he said, what? Say that again, Corey. Move on. Now, let's go. Like, 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 if somebody put you out, and days after we back fine, right? Okay. If somebody put you out, and days after we back fine, no, we're not. No, actually, we're not. Okay. Yeah, cool, cool. Sure. I'm just showing you for a reason. I'm gonna show you something. I look, go down. If you scroll down, we go keep, we go skip these days. It's, 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 they go to, they go to October real quick. I'm going the wrong way, my dumb man. Am I going the wrong way? Let me see. Go to October. October, 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 October. All right. Now, now this is why I, I shut a lot of this shit up real quick. I don't like people keep saying I put my kids. I love my boys. This night right here. Uh -huh. So that was October the 11th, y'all see. I mean, October. Five o'clock. I took my kids. I took CJ out for his birthday. Yes, he did. That night right there, I went out. I went to Funny Mike Party. When I came back home that night, they was gone. Now, one thing about niggas is they love to play on words, right? Because they like to be literal when situations aren't now with with um carmen you know she was singing a song so you got a rhyme right um something about fight and uh, something something and you moved to be in that same night y'all remember okay whether he moved her in the same night the day before or the day after nigga next week you put her out now he just said if somebody was putting you out and in a few days, y'all cool, right? No. What he is telling y'all, though, is he said that he was putting her out. Correct? Yeah? All right. Hey, Lil. And that next day, that when I put the rest of the... You see every... You see Got you. That's when I put the rest of the shit out, right? See all the other stuff gone. I and guess. I also see your son's shit in that garage, Corey. That's all I'm saying. I don't understand how niggas like to play words with women they get, they can't play words with, right? Because the women ain't thinking about the shit that other people is thinking about, y'all. <laughs> okay? So he's telling, he always tell you what he has done and what he's about to do, but he always throws in the lie that she told. Now, Carmen said that you put your son shit out and mine, as in hers. Corey said, that's a lie. I love my boys. Well, if that was a lie, why the hell is your son shit outside with hers? Number one. Number two, why is she being put out knowing she's the one 
with the boys that you love so much. Right? Damn, I was supposed to make that ranch, honey sauce. Fuck. I'm coming. I, you know how to make it. I'm coming. That's number two. Number three. If you the one with the bread, you the bread winner, you got everything together, you got your shit figured out, and you know that them boys got to be with their mother, why would you put it out in general, right? So that shows you didn't have no type of love for her at all, okay? And you definitely ain't got no love for your boys. That shit is cap, okay? Y'all, we got to call a spade a spade now. Nah. Ain't nobody keeping it real with this nigga. Nobody. Not a soul. Got so somebody got to keep it real with this boy. Put the rest of the stuff outside and say the rest of your stuff is outside. You can come get it. Including your son shit. How in the fuck I put you out and lock you out and you had nowhere to go. When I came home, yo go. She didn't have anywhere to go after you put her out. Because remember, you just admitted to putting her out. You was the one with the money. Y'all was. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm getting back to the song. This is crazy. I'm getting back to this shit. Okay, so we're not listening to that part, right? All right, so the next thing, y'all remember Carmen said that he moved a woman in that same night. I'm not going to play it for copyright purposes. But Corey pulled up. When did he say she moved in the 10th? No, the 13th. He did say the 13th. Now, what, what night? I, I got to go look back. But let's look at this video. For copyright purposes, clearly, I'm not going to play the sound. I ain't going to lie. I don't know how Carmen... <laughs> I don't know how Carmen had got the footage even after the fact. All right. Now, he's saying that he had to move her in because um, she, he needed her to cook for him and be his assistant and all that, basically. Carmen said that you moved the woman in. She got proof that you moved a woman in. Nigga, you moved a woman in. Not only that, he got her bags out the car. Baby got big suitcases. She got big suitcases. Okay? He said the 13th. This is the 13th. But once again, let's not forget he's trying to play on words. In the song where Karma was rhyming... The girl said, you moved up, be in that same night. May not have been the same night. I don't give a damn if it was the first day, the second day, the third. Nigga, you moved her in. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You got rid of your family and you moved another woman in the house. What are we... He wants to be literal today. You know what I'm saying? He wants to be accurate today. Yeah, accuracy don't matter when you did what it is that you did. You get what I'm saying? Um, that's another thing. And it, what else? Did, her talking about him putting hands on her. I mean, voice just literally proved that he also pulled a, pulled a, uh, a stick out on Maddie. And he has put paws on Maddie, right? Now, clearly, if you don't have it on video, he's innocent until proven guilty when it comes to Carmen. However, the, the proof that Carmen did have, though, was that big-ass black eye she had. Not a black eye, excuse me. The scratch on her face. So... I mean, he'll probably say he didn't. He hasn't even addressed this, this, uh, this scratch on her face at all. But my point is, what what she has come out and said, you've said or done or whatever. No, she showed the black eye. That's what I thought. I don't see it. But basically, she showed a black eye and she also sh showed that scratch on her face. Oh, you right. That this eye to this video. <laughs> To this video. Hold on. This this right here. Yes. So she has made it very clear that you are in fact a word 
You know what I'm saying? A B word, right? And I mean, even when it comes to oh, the car, she didn't have no car, no clothes, no whatever. Leave her in the house with no food and no car and something. And no phone. Because the nigga was taking her phone too. This is proof of the fact that he sold her damn car. This nigga sold. <laughs> you got to be a different type of trifling to sell your wife's car in the car that she needed to take them kids wherever the hell they need to go. Like, it's just really mind-boggling that he's literally coming on this, this Beyonce's internet. Like, I ain't do shit. Nothing. And wondering why he trying to get himself up out of here. Like, you're not keeping it real at all. I mean, at all. Like, he ain't got it in him. I think that this is crazy. I do. I do, y'all. And the more we getting into it, I mean, the darker it becomes. And the more it's just like, this is crazy. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about right there. Um. Y'all, this shit, I'm not going to lie. This is a different type of trifling to me. Um, that's all I can say. This is a different type of trifling. And y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Yeah. That's all I got for now. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>